please, there will be availability uh, after this for the media. And as I said to Terry, uh, Katie will keep track. We'd like to get in at least five questions, so if you could keep your answers to about three minutes, that would be All great. Right. Okay, <coughs> sir, you missed that last time. Good morning, General. Morning. I'm uh, Gregory Glaros, the founder and leader of Synexus. We are a uh, design and manufacturer of software and hardware in the state of Virginia. We've been blessed with great growth in the last seven years, uh, but many of my suppliers are actually from um, Maryland, Colorado, California, really not known to be friendly to business. Uh, as I move forward in the next six to nine months, I have some hard decisions to make in manufacturing. It is my belief that while services companies provide jobs today, manufacturing is for our future in doing so. And as I look um, at the state of Virginia, looking at my bottom lines, I've received and sending packages from Canada to manufacture there, do my research and development in Austria, which would result in almost 20% to my bottom line. So it makes me feel that Virginia is a little bit hostile to manufacturing business. Will you state for us that you as governor will reduce things like the tool tax, uh, things like inventory taxes, and make me feel comfortable about being a fool for staying in Virginia? <laughs> Let me put a finer point on it. I served for 20 years as a Navy Strike fighter pilot, and I'll be damned if I have to go to a foreign country to manufacture for my folks that are still in service. Well, I appreciate your service and your leadership in the, in the business community. Um, I agree, first of all, with the direction you're, you're pointing here. You're talking about the merchant's capital tax, machine and tools tax. Um, B I will throw B poll in here for discussion. Um, they're all local taxes. And I, I want to be very careful not to do to local governments what I complain about the federal government doing to us. So I don't want to walk in running for governor and say, I'm going to take this option away from the local governments. <laughs> I agree with you that the machine and tools tax is a very, very economically harmful levy. Okay? And I absolutely intend to, as part of my tax reform approach, uh, we intend to put a small business tax commission together, one, to stack up those incentives and loopholes, et cetera, that I talked about, so we can figure out which ones work and which ones don't, but also for them to study alternatives that are not so economically harmful to things like the machine and tools tax. Because I, I agree with what you're saying in terms of its impact, um, and, and these taxes go back an awfully long way to another era. I mean, they're just not well suited to the 21st century and to what we're trying to do economically in Virginia. You know, we have some manufacturing uh, coming back in Southside, which used to be just an enormous manufacturing uh, belt in Virginia. What's coming back is customized manufacturing. It's, it's not the mass quantity stuff that a lot of which went overseas with NAFTA. Um, particularly, but uh, it's it's the customized, intelligent manufacturing that you really need a, a, a well-developed workforce for, and I think we're working in that direction effectively in Virginia, Northern Virginia. We do pretty well in that regard, but I do think this is an area we need to be aggressive about. But I don't want to overpromise. I never want to overpromise. Um, you know what you see in my campaign is what you'll get in my governor's service if I'm fortunate enough to win. So I want to be realistic. And what I aim to do in the area you're most concerned about is sit down with our local governments and seriously talk about putting alternatives on the table um, that they can use to pay for schools, to pay for public safety, but that don't have the kind of economic, negative economic impact that the machine and tools tax has. I mean, my, my favorite little ditty about the bee pole is it goes back to the War of 1812. That's what it was used to fund. <laughs> And it was an expensive war. And, uh, and, you know, these things stick with us, but they're outdated. Um, nonetheless, we have localities that are very dependent on it. West Point, Virginia, gets over 40% of their local revenue from the machine and tools tax. That's a tough nut to crack, but I do think we have to take a run at it. Thank you. And thanks for your work here. Other questions? <laughs>